When we have a look at traditional DRC, LVS and ERC, those tools have served us very well from a traditional verification perspective. But we also have a lot of other checks that we want to accomplish that we might not be readily able to do just leveraging the capabilities of those more traditional type tools. Here's where Calibre Perk comes in. Because of its holistic understanding of the design and its ability to be able to not only understand the devices and how they connect together, but also be able to pull in other aspects of the Calibre platform, we're able to accomplish a lot of verification checks that were previously thought uncheckable. So within the Calibre Perk environment, we're able to elevate the reliability verification that you might have been doing using other methods. So with the designs that we're looking at today, a lot of us are going from one generation to the next, and due to market forces and competitive pressures, we need to cram more functionality um, into the designs that we have. Um, there's very few of us who have the luxury of being able to um, design the same small chip um, year after year and just make slight tweaks to it. Um, a lot of the times, each next generation um, requires us to um, pack more functionality um, into either the same die area um, or maybe go to a different process node or utilizing different IP, um, either from internal sources or from external as well. And when we do that, we need to make sure that all of the different power domains that are in our designs are being handled correctly. We need to make sure that signals that cross um, from one power domain to another um, have the correct devices on them. Maybe we need level shifters or retention cells. With Calibre Perk, we're able to go through and understand uh, how these different signals transition from one domain to another. And with that transition, make sure that we do in fact have the correct devices in place. If we see a signal that does go from one domain to another without the correct protection, we can utilize the Calibre infrastructure that we have in place um, to very readily identify that there's an error and in an integrated and easy to use debug environment, show you where that problem is so that as a designer, um, either from the circuit perspective or from a layout perspective, you can go through and fix that very quickly. You don't need to wait until the end when you're simulating your design or maybe doing um, the last minute checks to find out that you've got this fundamental flaw with a whole bunch of your nets. You can find out very easily and very quickly early on in the design process. And that's important to make sure that your projects stay on track and that you're able to have designs with a high degree of confidence from a verification and a reliability perspective as well. You might have, for example, uh, an ESD methodology um, where you're using distributed ESD devices or maybe you've got an ESD device um, for each external pin inside of your design. Calibre Perk is able to help you and make sure that all of those structures are in place, that they're correctly sized, that they have the right topology and structure and they have the right physical elements available to them as well. We can go through and understand the design based of its connectivity correlate that with how it's physically been laid out and really give you a sense of security from a verification perspective that the designs that you're creating are going to be very reliable, they obey the design rules that we have inside of here and from a repeatability perspective it's just not one of your designers going through and doing a visual inspection on the design, it's a tool that's very programmatic and deterministic able to go through and robustly go through the entire design and tell you if there are any problems with it. Uh, so that's really the benefit of Calibre Perk for these sorts of scenarios. So a lot of the devices that we have today are, are essentially always on. Uh, we live in this world where mobile communications and mobile devices are very prevalent and what we're looking for is the, these devices that have very high reliability. Um, we, we've got um, this, this need to go down to, to lower power and, and longer on times and, and longer times before charging batteries. Um, and because of that, that desire, 
Um, we've tried using lower threshold voltages, um, making sure that we can cram as many devices into a smaller area as possible. And one of the things that we've also done is we've used thinner oxide gates within our designs. And that's fantastic from a switching perspective and being able to increase the longevity of our designs. Um, but thin oxide gates are also very susceptible to electrical overstress or, or EOS type issues. And one of the things that we're able to do within Calibre Perk is we can use this unique capability that we call voltage propagation to really understand what the different voltages are on at each of the nodes in our electrical design uh, without the need for, for spice simulation. Um, so we can understand the voltages that are sitting there and we can have a look at these thin oxide gates and make sure that they're not being overstressed. Um, if we've got a, a gate, for example, that's switching at, at say, 1.8 volts, um, but we've got the bulk of it connected up to, say, 3.3 volts, um, or maybe it's 1.8, but it's on a different power domain um, that doesn't get switched off at the same time, then what we're doing is we're actually creating stress on that oxide. Um, and it, it doesn't create a, an immediate failure in the design, but for these always-on devices um, or devices where we require very high reliability, um, this is a problem for us. Uh, so Calibre Perk helps us solve these sorts of reliability problems in a very deterministic and robust way. We're able to go through the design, understand what voltages are sitting inside of all of these nodes, and identify very quickly and provide in a, in a very easy to use and comprehensive debug environment uh, where these errors are occurring so we can go through and make sure that we're developing and designing robust designs um, that are going to meet those high reliability expectations that we have. One of the newer types of design rules that we have coming to us is that of a voltage dependent DRC. Traditionally we've solved this by utilizing different marker layers within our design environment. But with different requirements, um, we've seen this technique break down in some occasions and really become unwieldy. And that's primarily a function of um, not only the process node, but the number of different power domains that are inside your design. Calibre Perk is able to understand um, what those power domains are, understand how devices are not only being used, but also what nodal voltages are on those devices um, without the use of, of spice simulation and apply different DRC rules based on the difference between those, those voltages. Over in the schematic, you can go through and, and mark uh, maybe high voltage and low voltage sections, but you really don't know until you've physically implemented it um, and then started running your DRC checks, what nets are going to be next to each other. With Calibre Perk, we can take the holistic design and really understand that a signal, for example, um, that's in a high voltage region might be going close to a low voltage region. Understand the physical spaces in between those uh, and trigger those DRC checks that you need to. And we can do that all without using uh, a marker layer. Um, even though marker layers are, are the tried and true method for trying to solve these problems, they really do become unwieldy when we have a large number of them. Um, and then tracking and making changes to them become problematic as we continue through the design verification process. And the closer we get to tape out, um, the more assurance that we want um, that those marker layers and the rest of the verification environment is set up correctly. Uh, with Calibre Perk, we don't need to rely on those marker layers. We can go through, understand those different voltage um, dependent DRC rules, make sure that they're being applied appropriately um, based on the devices that are being used and based on the nodal voltages that are within our design. Um, so Calibre Perk really does provide a, a superior verification environment for these sorts of checks. So as you use Calibre Perk, keep in mind that it's a platform that really allows you to elevate the verification tasks that you're accomplishing, and particularly if you're concerned about reliability verification. It's an excellent platform to allow you to do those checks that previously you thought might not be possible.